All right, this is the third time I'm trying to film this video. Hey all you awesomely blossomly people out there. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nirupama and I hope you all are doing great. Well, in today's video, I will be talking about the trainee flights. Trainee flights, fan flights, familiarization flights. After, once you're done with your training, you have to go through the trainee flights. So now in my company, when I joined after my training, I had to go through five trainee flights. And a lot of you were asking me that, okay, what actually happens in the training flights? And why don't you share your story with us? So I was like, okay, all right, I'll do what I'm good at talking why trainee flights like why do we have to go through the training flights now in the training you study about everything about the aircraft equipment what all are there what to do when something happens what to do when some situation occurs and how to go about it we all have an idea about it theoretically but when you are in that situation things are different so just to give the practical knowledge about whatever you have studied theoretically we have to go to the trainee flights. So that time, like it was like almost five and a half years back, I used to look like this. So this is a picture from my graduation. And why I'm showing you this picture? Because I don't have the picture of my first day. Because I was so nervous, I was so clueless that this thought never came in my mind. But my first trainee flight was Udaipur back. So uh, it was Bombay Udaipur, Udaipur back. So it was a short sector, hardly one hour of flying. It was an early morning flight. So I had to get up really early, which I was not used to, of course. So I went to the airport and I reached. I was excited, but I was completely clueless. And then I uh, reached the base and there I gave my BA. My very first BA test, it was a different feeling actually because I because I was doing things which I've never done before. Every small to small things, were making a lot of difference so i went to the doctor to give my ba test and then the doctor helped me with everything so now when you give your ba you have to sign in for that you have to write your name and the flight number what time you are giving your ba so everything all the details so you have to write it over there and once that was done then i went upstairs to the base there were a lot of crew and everybody was busy with their work i was that new girl in the school so i had no idea about like where to go what to do and how to go about it then there was this crew and I asked this crew that if you can help me out with this. So then uh, she was she was nice enough. She, sh uh, she showed me where to sign in for the flight. There was the system where you check about the flight, the flight details, like what time the aircraft is um, coming, like the aircraft in which you're going to go for the flight, what time the aircraft is coming, if it is on ground and what are the captain's name and all of that. So all the details you have to take, you have to jot it down. You should you're supposed to know it basically then after that i finally found my crew and we went inside the briefing room now when you go for any flight there is a briefing so in the briefing what happens that we discuss about the flight the flight details are there like timings and what sectors we are flying to who are the captains and then uh, you know things which you should have to keep in mind when you're traveling to this particular sector and then uh, things we'll discuss things related to safety and first aid what if something happens so how are we supposed to act how are we supposed to handle the situation so that everybody it's like you're refreshing your knowledge and everybody is on the same page so that's why we do that it's like quick recap then i went inside the briefing room that was my very first briefing so i went inside and i sat down and i was really nervous and they asked me my name and they asked me to introduce myself and i and i said my name is nirupama kukriyati this is my very first trainee flight if i make any mistake please correct me i take the corrections positively and yeah that's all what i have to say so i was actually very nervous but my crew they were really nice and i'm not saying because i have to say it but then they were actually very nice and we went on the flight and i was working as an assist crew now when you go on a training flight you will not be working as a primary crew you will always be working as an assist crew so i was an assist the boarding started my crew they sort of briefed me that what i'm supposed to do on ground like assist the passengers with their bags and tell them if they don't know the seat numbers tell them okay this is your seat that is your seat so they, i was doing all of that and i was looking at my crew also what they are doing so you know if i have any confusion so i can you know at least copy them so that's what i was doing then uh o-wing you are supposed to brief the o-wing so my crew said okay uh, can you brief the o-wing i was like yeah i can do that so i went and i briefed the o-wing guest and then he was like good job you know you, you did really well so he was basically he just wanted to see that how will i perform because you know you can there is a possibility that you might get nervous that okay make your career you fumble you know because talking to strangers is not easy and then after that uh, we did the demo 
demo again for the very first time so i was just copying my crew what my crew was doing of course i know what i'm supposed to do but then i've never done it so i don't know the flow and how and every person has a different like the speed is different when when they make the announcement when they do the demo so the speed is different and how they do it is it's different or right? every person has a different way of doing it so i was just copying what my crew was doing and then we took off and then we did our service so for the service um i joined uh, so a crew joined my cart so because i cannot do it alone because i've never done it before so of course there's a probability that i might do something wrong so just to help me out and, and to guide me there was another crew on the cart so i was just doing the same thing what my crew was doing and then uh, we did the tea coffee service and then after that uh, after everything was done then we were sitting we were chilling we were just chatting and then you know by this crew who was my economy in charge so he was there uh, for, he was there with the company for like almost 10 years and uh, he was actually 10 years elder to me but then he didn't look like that he's 10 years elder to me but yeah and generally ragging bhi hoti hai logo ki trainee flights pe but meri ragging to nahi hui but then he was like tumne 10th to pass kara hua hai na 10th ke baad hi aagi tum yahan par seedhe and i was like वैसे मिनिमम क्वालिफिकेशन फॉर दिस जॉब इज टेन प्लस टू एंड आई एम अ ग्रेजुएट सो वेल बट देन इफ आई लुक एट माई सेल्फ इफ आई लुक एट माई ओल्ड पिक्चर्स लाइक इन माई ट्रेनिंग डेज आई बिकेम रियली थिन सो या एंड देन आई चॉप माई हेयर दिस शॉर्ट सो आई वॉज एक्चुअली लुकिंग वेरी यंग एंड इट्स अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट लाइक फॉर एनी वुमेन आउट देयर इट्स अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट समी टेल्स यू दैट यू लुक मच 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 यंगर सो ऑफ कॉर्ट्स अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट सो या दैट हैपन एंड एंड देन दैट क्रू ही गॉट टेन ये बॉइल्ड एग्स विद हिम एंड आई वॉज लाइक कौन खाएगा ये एंड देन ही वॉज फीलिंग इट ऑफ एंड देन ही वॉज जस्ट ईटिंग द वाइट पोर्शन ही वॉज नॉट हैविंग द येलो पोर्शन सो यू नो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द टाइम वेन आई हैड नो क्लू अबाउट यू नो वॉट शुड आई ईट एंड दिस इज हेल्दी फॉर माई बॉडी दिस इज नॉट गुड फॉर माई बॉडी आई हैड नो क्लू अबाउट इट एंड आई वॉज वंडरिंग वाई वेस्टिंग इट वाई इज नॉट ईटिंग इट बट नाउ आई नो दैट इट इज नॉट हेल्दी and or it's not it's you put on weight or if you want to lose weight and all of that you should not eat all of that so yeah so yeah that was that and then my crew the other crew who was again uh, with the company for good 4 uh, 5 years so um like she was carrying a pouch in that pouch she had like five lipsticks hand cream mist this and that like it was this huge of a pouch it was a pretty one but then it was huge i was like itna saman kon leke aata hai and me i was carrying this small pouch with one lipstick one torch light that's it like literally and if you see now now if i show you my pouch what i carry in flight i show you yeah so this is my pouch and if i show you inside just see it's like it's like overflowing like you see can you see oops i drop i drop something so yeah so, so now <laughs> it's like maybe it's like <laughs> it's funny like you know it's funny so with time things change so with the size of the pouch of the crew you can actually gauge the number of years of flying i'm like and then after this my ife the person who was heading the flight she called me in the forward and then she said that and then she made me sit and she said okay would you like to have anything you must be hungry you know you must be tired you did a lot of work you want to have a cup of tea or coffee anything you would like to have i don't know i don't want to have would like to eat something in my head i was like yes 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 i'm starving because like i started 3 o'clock in the morning and now it's like six of course i'm starving so please give me something to eat so yeah she then uh, she served me the food and i had my food and then it was time for the check yes the check so now when you go for the trainee flights then the supervisor are supposed to take your check they have a checklist i forgot what they call it so the checklist uh, it's like a, a trainee checklist so where they'll ask you things related to first aid safety now everything is fresh in your head because you have just came back from the training so you know you know everything but then there is a possibility that you might get nervous because you're new you know so of course it's like it's understood but you will get the benefit of doubt because you're new as i said they ask you to things related to that and then they'll ask your crew the people who were working with you that how is she how was her attitude and was she proactive how did she work and everything 
so now um uh, and then they have to mention about that also in the checklist then they'll check your grooming also because uh, you like after service it should not be like your hair is flying in the air and lipstick is not there you should be like prim and proper your should be your grooming should be intact you should look presentable at all given point of time so that is what one of the things about cabin crew so you're supposed to look like one right so that they will check so yeah that's that's what generally they ask and then if you clear that if your performance was satisfactory then you'll go for the next trainee flight and like that you have to give five trainee flights and once you clear that you are released for flight and then you can fly like a crew crew as like a crew and yeah so that that's how my trainee flight went and to be honest i want i've come across people who tell me about their flying experience like actual flying days and they were like really not happy with it so and you know that, that this crew senior crew was not nice to me or this crew was not uh, nice to me if you ask me uh, i had really good time uh, if i talk about initial days or if i talk about now as well i feel uh, it was it was it was it was fine i i would not say that i never had a bad day or i never experienced someone uh, who who was being uh, mean to me or nasty to me of course you come across people like that but then i would say that everything starts from you if you're nice to people people will be nice to you if you want people to smile at you you smile first if you want people to appreciate you for your work you appreciate them first so it it all starts from you so you have to conduct yourself in a way that you know people can't even think of being mean to you you know what i'm trying to say like uh attitude is okay if you have a positive attitude way to go but then if you have the negative attitude if you have this attitude i know it all i have done the training i know how to go about it you don't tell me or how dare you to correct me and how dare you to tell me things or how dare you to tell me what i'm supposed to do then you're not going to go anywhere and let me tell you this job is not for you All right so when you whenever you come for a flight especially if i talk about this profession whenever you come for a flight always come with this mindset it's okay i am a human there is a possibility that i make a mistake and if someone corrects me i will take that positively so that should be your mindset and that's how you should process things and someone is actually being mean to you so just ignore that you know not let them affect your happiness and your day so not let them decide how your day going to be you know and uh, yeah so yeah that's all what happened in my trainee flights i hope you find it interesting i hope you find it informative if you do make sure you give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel press the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you will be notified next time i'll upload a video and yeah that's pretty much it i hope to see you until next time take care